Hello, my sexy full friends out there. If you haven't guessed it, we're reviewing Wheel of Fortune on the NES. And I forgot to get my controller, so if you see the top of my head, I'm sorry. Not very sexy, I know. I know, by kittens, it's okay. Okay, so I'm sorry, I called you guys kittens too. It's cool. We're all cats, right? Okay. So this is Wheel of Fortune for the NES, and before you tune out, bear with me. I want to show you guys that this is actually a pretty cool game. And I'm not lying, I promise. Number of players, uh, one. Where's the computer? Oh, by the way, this Vanna White on the left. <coughs> Enter your player name. Um. Um. Asteroid. That looks that looks pretty accurate. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Let's play some Wheel of Fortune. Get ready to play Wheel of Fortune. I am ready to play Wheel of Fortune. I am so excited right now. I wish it was nighttime. Okay. Spin. Now check this out. That's your strength on the top left, and on the top right you have your value. This measures the panels. Just like the show does. Isn't that cool? I think it's so cool. Uh, a consonant. I want a... Uh, let's go with a C. Ooh. <coughs> now you got a... I would like to buy a vowel. Can I buy a vowel? I would like to go with an A. Ooh. Okay, so yeah. This is the general gist of it. Look how she walks. It's so cool. And uh, I'm going to spin again. Can I spin? I'm gonna go ahead and go for a medium spin. <coughs> Slight medium. God, that looks so cool, man. I mean, ooh, free spin. Let's go for a freaking full spin. This is cool because my mom watches the show constantly. She's a. God dang, I'm just on a roll. I'm not making any progress, by the way. This has never happened before. This is kind of weird that it's happening now. God damn it! Okay, this has never happened before. I swear to God. I've never hit three free, free spins in a row before. I swear to God. Hmm. Enter a consonant. I'm gonna enter an M. Now, my mom is a will watcher, so she gets pissed off whenever, um... I'm gonna buy a vowel. Whenever, uh, her numbers don't come up, but I have to remind her, I was like, do you know how many other people are out there playing Will of Fortune at home? I'm actually dominating it. This is rare because every time I play this game, I usually lose. So I'm glad that I'm recording this because it's kind of cool to see me actually win at something. And we're constant. Coming. I'm going to go with a G. I've never seen of these. Okay, I can see what the thing is. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve. Of age! Damn. That'd be cool if they had a microphone like the Famicom controller. Yay! You saw me win my very first game of Wheel of Fortune where I dominated the board. That is epic, dude. Wow. I usually suck at this. When I first tested this game, I was like, this game sucks. I'm actually really happy that I'm doing this on camera. This is impressive. Wow. Now, there are, I think, three other versions of this game on the NES. And they're all identical, except for the puzzles. The puzzles are all different on all these NES games. The appearances of them are different. <coughs> and I'm not going to show you the appearances of them, because they look literally... Oh, shit. Asteroid's turn. They literally look identical to this game, with the exception of the color scheme and the puzzles. Alright, so I don't want to bore you guys. So this is probably going to be the shortest video I've ever made on Now Playing. And by the way, my name is LJ. So anyways... Here's my review of this game. Gameplay, I'm going to review all these games together because... All the NES games, anyways. The NES games are... <coughs> all identical in graphics, like I said. Uh, there's also a Vanna White version, which I have not played and I don't have. But I'll show you at the end of the video. Or I'll probably cut in right now with what versions I do have. And you can see them all on video at once. When you turn on the Super Nintendo version, the first thing you're going to get is Cheery Tune, licensed by Nintendo. And you're also going to get this... And you're also going to get this super non-sexy title screen. 
However, it's very deceptive. Now let me explain why it's so deceptive. Because, even though it's a more advanced console with better graphics and presumably better sound, the gameplay is complete trash. Press start to continue. Okay. We use two controllers. No. Um... We're gonna go with no. How many players would you like? I would like to go with one. Would you like to play against the computer? Yes. Please enter your name. Ass. How do you spell ass, everyone? And you can't go back. I'm pushing left right here. Okay, so we gotta go all the way over here. Push ass. Ass. Okay. Ass is my Please name. Choose a character. Okay, so we've got Brian Dennehy, Tim Allen, Mike Epps, the chick from Full House, the other chick from Roseanne, and we've got, uh, what's her name? Wanda Sykes. So I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Mike Epps. Please enter your name. And he's picking a name for the computers now. Excuse me while I get a beer. I'm going to need one if I'm going to play this Please game. Please choose a Okay, here we go. We're spinning the wheel. Ready for this? Here we go. I'm spinning at full speed. Wow, that was fucking epic. Did you see that wheel spin? Oh my god, 16-bit is so impressive. Choose a letter. Oh, damn, that was so lame. Okay, so now I'm going to go with a consonant. I'm going to pick a J, because J's aren't really picked that much. you got to push X in order to pick the thing. There are no J's. Okay, then. Nancy's turn. Frickin' Nancy. Frickin' Nancy in her stupid frickin' face. She looks like, uh, what was, what was the sister off of Roseanne? Not Darlene, but the blonde one. You know who I'm talking about. But look how lame that looks. I mean, seriously, the NES version was so cool. It actually mimicked the actual Will and Will of Fortune. And I was impressed by that. Okay, so while this crap's running, <coughs> let me review it. The NES version of this game. Gameplay, I'd say it follows the show pretty closely. So five out of five. Actually, let's, uh, backpedal on this for a second. Yeah, it follows the show. What the hell? It's whatever you expect. Five out of five. Graphics. The graphics on the NES version were actually pretty freaking good. They weren't the best, so I'm going to give them, um... Actually, they weren't really that good, but they were better than this. I'll give them a eh, four out of five, because they tried to mimic the show really closely. Sound. The NES version was very primitive in its baby stages, and it, I think it deserves a three out of five. They tried. It wasn't annoying at all. It didn't make my ears bleed. And overall, the NES version, I'm going to give that a 3 out of 5. I think you should try that game. Now, the Super Nintendo version, oh my god. Look at this. Look at the wheel. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, you can't even predict where it's going to land. It's just such a weak, weak port of the game. I mean, they included a lot of cool stuff in it, you know, like new sprites and stuff like that. But it's just really not that impressive at all. And I'm not having a good time. The NES version is way more fun. So gameplay, I'm going to give the Super Nintendo version a 1 out of 5. Because it's just such a lame experience. It's not hard. It's kind of like it follows a show, but it's just not as impressive. Graphics, 2 out of 5 because they tried. But it just looks ugly as all hell. NES, you didn't have to deal with this. Sound, sound they tried, so I'll give it a 3 out of 5. So you have a 1, 2, and a 3 out of 5. Overall, the Super Nintendo version, I think it gets a 2 out of 5. I'd say it's not worth trying, so go ahead and use your best judgment. But anyways, Will of Fortune on the NES and Super Nintendo. So anyways, my name is LJ. You're watching Now Playing, and thank you very much for tuning in. Please don't buy or try this game. The Super Nintendo version sucks. The NES version is much better. Despite being on an advanced console, the guys... Already? Really? Really? The guys at Game Tech clearly couldn't get their shit together when they were working on this game for the Super Nintendo, and it just turned out to be a gigantic fail. They also made this for the Game Boy, mind you, and the Super and the Sega Genesis. So I wonder what it's like on those versions. It's also on the Nintendo 64. I hope to God the Nintendo 64 version is better. Maybe you'll see it in the future. Maybe you won't. But anyways, that's all I got for today. Tune in next time. My name is LJ. You're watching Now Playing. I bid you adieu.